Yes, that's Filio Ocala, there's a Dosto Greepy Radio, it's GBR, good morning to one and all. We're going to be uh, discussing various issues about that in Greek and English with Padre uh, Anastasios Salabatas. Yes, you, Padre, you can see. Kalimara, good morning to all listeners all around the world. I'm Ekego Harumenos, I'm very happy to be here with you this morning to talk about Easter and various other topics. Good morning to everyone and uh, have a good listening. We hope everything is going really good at the church. Everything is going great at the church. Yep. We've established the uh, Greek community in uh, 1975 yep. in Haro, um, which is um, uh, next to Webley. They've named it after a very famous Greek saint, um, a medical doctor yep. and a healer, Saint Badalaimon. And soon after they've established the community, they um, established, they founded the local Greek school as well. So we are thriving since uh, 1975. What, what calendar is the Greek Orthodox and the fact that we do it a, a week later? Yeah, well, I mean, um, the calculation of the date of Easter has had been decided by the First Ecumenical Council, 325 in Nicaea, All right. uh, outside Constantinople. Apart from that, we had other issues discussed at that uh, Ecumenical Council and one of them was the date of Easter. Okay. Because up to that uh, year, uh, certain local churches were actually celebrating Easter uh, in uh, different dates mm. for, for, for various local reasons. And the church at that time decided that um, we should, all of us, celebrate Easter on a Sunday and it will be the first Sunday after the first moon, after the spring equinox, 21st of March. So we we'll wait for spring equinox, mm -hmm. then we observe the first full moon, and the first Sunday after that is our Easter. The Eastern Orthodox will use the calendar that was used at that time in 325 when we are uh, when we decided on this on yeah. this uh, sort of rule, and that was the Julian calendar, or old calendar. The Pope Gregory the Thirteenth at the time who had taken the initiative to change it. So the new calendar was named after him, Gregorian calendar. Ah, uh, that's where Gregorian uh, calendar comes from. Yeah, and so okay. the Gregorian calendar keeps the same rule of the First Ecumenical Council, but it has uh, uh, some days um, added to it. So yeah. there is some, some difference uh, in the final date of Easter between the two uh, churches, uh, the Eastern Church and the Western Church. Uh, in a, uh, Holy Week is an additional week to, to, the, uh, to, to the land. Yeah. So the, <clears throat> the Great Land is 40 days. Mm -hmm. um, then we have two days in between the Great Land and, and uh, Holy Week, and that is the, this coming Saturday, Lazarus Saturday, I when we, Lazarus cel Saturday, yeah, yeah. we celebrate the resurrection of, um, of Lazarus, Lazarus yeah. uh, and then it's Palm Sunday. Uh, when we celebrate the glorious entry of our Lord into the holy city of Jerusalem. Yeah, which in the Western world was the Sunday just gone. Sunday before, yeah. And so our Palm Sunday is going to be... Is this coming Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Our Palm Sunday is the Western Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Well, you have also your own football team, which has done really yeah. well. We went to... We went to the Copa. To the Copa, Cypriot League, and we stayed for two years. Uh, first year we yeah. got the championship and the cup. Of second believe, division yeah, in the first year of your in the first year, uh, yeah. you entered the Copa League. You, you did that well, yeah. Yeah, and, and so now you're in the English League. You mentioned so yeah. uh, Middle Six Middlesex County League. Football League Division yeah. One. Any, any last messages for the listeners out there? Let's live this uh, Easter Holy Week and Easter messages within the atmosphere of the church. We cannot understand what Holy Week and Easter is unless we we, we experience these messages within the Easter, uh, the Holy Week and Easter church environment. We should uh, sort of emphasize the importance of attending at least some of the uh, church services during Holy Week and Easter in order to be able to absorb these great messages that they are there for us for, uh, for our lives.